y'all ariel here welcome back to my channel thank you guys for stopping today, today y'all i plan on doing like a glowy makeup look today i have some new goodies and i'm excited to try this it's the summertime and we want to look like we are just glazing honey okay so yeah get your tools get your brushes get everything and let's do our face I'm actually going to go off camera and do my brows right quick, y'all. I don't feel like doing a whole lot, a whole lot of them today. So, I'm going to try to keep them on the simple side. This is supposed to be more of like a soft glam. So, y'all know when I say soft glam, it turn into a whole full glam. But, I'm going to try to keep it soft glam today for you guys because, yeah. Yeah. Let me do my eyebrows and I'm coming right back. Okay, y'all, so I have my brows done. They look really, really good to say that they are not groomed. Like, I love how this came out, and I didn't do much at all. So I might start doing that because I like it. Y'all like it because I like it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and prime our skin, put some lotion on, all of that, because the face is a little crusty right now. So let's fix that. Okay, so before I actually moisturize y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put some more concealer on my lid. I'm not going to apply any eyeshadow today, but I am going to go in and apply some powder on my lid just to give me a more even complexion. So we're just going to tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping, and blend this out. Okay, y'all, so I'm making sure to blend everything out nice and seamlessly. And then I'm going to go in with my powder and a fluffy brush. All products will be in my description box, y'all. This is a Morphe M504 brush. And I'm literally just going to tap, 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 pat, pat, pat. Swiper, no swiping this powder onto the lid. I'm going to do this about three to four times, y'all, because this powder is kind of light. So, I want full coverage on my lid. I don't want any creasing, none whatsoever. Boom. All right, so I'm satisfied with that coverage. If you can see the difference, this one is still glossy. This one is more concealed. So, yeah. You want to make sure that it looks like this and not like this. Because if you leave it like this, then it's going to leave creasing and it may transfer or whatever so yeah just make sure that you have it um nice and set whenever you're using some type of cream some type of liquid you always want to make sure you go in with the powder to lock it in okay so boom make sure you tap 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 pat 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 swiper no swiping and blend it out boom once the surface is smooth and clear then you want to go in with your powder, dust off the extras off that brush, and then boom, tap, 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 pet, 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 swiper, no swiping. And you want to like tap it into a circle. That way it can disperse all over your lid. And do this two to three times, four times if you want to. You can use a sponge also, but I feel like the brush just concentrates it more onto the area you really need it to go to so yeah all right y'all so if you did it correctly your lid should look something like this hopefully it looks better than mine okay but you want to make sure whenever you're using a liquid or a cream you lock it in place with a what 
with the powder good job okay so now i'm gonna go in and moisturize and prep my skin for the foundation the foundation is the key component to this video today y'all because i have a new product and i am so excited so let me hurry up do this i'm gonna come right back and we're gonna get into the start of the show okay i'm so excited So the start of the show is the Juvia's Plays Nubian Glow Liquid Luminizers. They sent me five of these and I'm so excited because this is supposed to go in with their natural radiance foundation to give a very radiant and nice glow to the skin. Nice for the summer. So we're going to put these to the test. I have five different shades. I'm going to swatch them for you guys and let y'all see what they're looking like because... I'm trying to glow like the skin is glowing already but we got to take it to the whole nother level okay like I'm trying to look like a honey glazed donut okay when I go outside and the sun hits my cheeks hits this melanin oh you're gonna see me okay because period so this is what the container looks like y'all I'm so excited because your girl is about to be illuminating out here on y'all because stop playing we have five different shades you guys and i am gonna swatch this first one is called egyptian glow i think this is gonna be the one i'm using because it matched my satin today and like yeah let me swatch this because i'm getting excited let's see so this is the applicator let me show y'all that's what she's looking like so we're going to swatch this on the back of our hand. <sighs> Juvia's Place. Y'all know I am a fanatic for Juvia's Place. But this right here, like, this is so freaking gorgeous. Like, look at that. Let me just zoom in and show y'all. Like, do you see? Girl. Do y'all see that? Oh, I am so i'm so excited okay okay ariel calm down so this one again is egyptian glow <sighs> okay this next one oh my god i'm so happy i'm so excited okay this one is called nubian gleam oh okay this one has more of a golden tone to it let me show y'all hold on girl Juvia's place never disappoints like this one is creamy uh, this is so pretty y'all like it's the golden undertones the golden tint to it for me okay y'all so the next shade is called ivory light it's like a nice light champagne color now this one actually does match my satin today oh now that is so pretty up next i have starstruck and that's what i am right now like i'm starstruck because these are so freaking gorgeous like i feel like this will look really pretty as like an eyeshadow base as well with some shimmer girl let me show y'all that's pretty it's the little like shimmer to it for me like put this on with a nice satin dress or something y'all like put this on your collarbone put it on your legs like child and my birthday coming up so i'm definitely using this because y'all gonna see me glow okay and last but not least we have golden hour okay come on come through juvia's place 
Oh, this is so pretty. I don't even know which one to choose, y'all, because I'm just having a moment right now. Like, I think I'm going to mix Egyptian Glow and Golden Hour together because these are just, I don't know, y'all. What if I just, would I be crazy to mix all of them together? Like, put all of them on my face because... <laughs> I like these. Uh, oh my goodness. That's so freaking cute. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that on the melanin. Like any shade will work for me because that's just so pretty. Okay, so rumor has it you're supposed to mix the illuminators with the natural radiance foundations. So let me get my foundations and I'm coming right back. All right, y'all. So I have the foundations. I have the shade Tanzania and Kenya. So I think I'm going to go in with Kenya because it's a little on the darker side. And y'all know I like a bright under eye highlight. I don't know if I'm going to do something super duper bold today i want to keep it simple though so we're going to start off with kenya first because the illuminizers i don't know how you know it might affect how bright it is or whatever so yeah okay y'all so we're going to put it to the test and we're going to see if this really gives us a glow now these right here are very very like it's going to give you that radiance it's going to give you that glow that sheer dewy look on its own but we're going to see if it just umps it up a bit and give us like goddess nubian goddess vibes so again i think i'm gonna take egyptian glow from juvia's place and i'm also gonna take golden hour and we're gonna mix all four of these together and create some magic so you are supposed to shake the foundations really really good to i guess you know activate it and get all the formula like mixed together so yeah let's shake 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 mm. Shake, 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 ay, shake, 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 ay, 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 shake, shake, shake. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I feel so corny. Okay, I feel like I shook it up enough. Boom, 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 boom. hours later okay y'all so i have the foundation on the back of my hand and now i'm also going to apply the luminizers on the back of my hand let's see honey i need to get me a good brush so i can mix them together Okay, 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 okay. I see a little sheer, a little glow going on, honey. Okay, so let's put this on our face and let's see how glowy the skin can look, okay? Okay, Juvia's place, like, y'all never cease to amaze me, for real. If we're being honest, like, and it smells so good, like, it just smells real refreshing. This thing smells so good. Okay, y'all, I see a sheer, I see a glow, honey. All right, now. What y'all think? What you think? What you think, honey? I am impressed. Like, this don't even feel like I have anything on. I'm going to allow this to kind of dry down first before applying some of my concealer but i feel like this is a 10 out of 10 over 10 okay i low-key want to add some like on my cheeks by itself to see if it'll give me like a little highlight situation going on you feel me so juvia's place y'all did your big one with that one okay i like it i feel like i am gonna have to actually lock my 
um face with some matte spray just in case because this is very 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 rich and creamy but i love the formula of this because wow a little bit of this stuff would definitely go a long way i feel like i kind of went ham with my product but at the same time though like how can you blame me because this is beautiful like i'm not even done yet and it looks so freaking good like this looks so good to me i love look at that little shine right there like the light is hitting on the melanin i love that for me like let's hurry up and finish so i can see the outcome of how this is gonna turn out i think i am gonna do a wing today as well i want to keep it simple though so it may not be like a bowl bowl wing but i'm feeling myself because ah! okay okay i am gonna take the juvia's place um beauty blender and go ahead and get rid of the extra that we don't need this looks so good Y'all know I love me a good beat. But when the product hits, the face is going to hit. Okay, y'all. So, I went ahead and got rid of the extra. This is the transfer from my face to the sponge. And it does dry down a bit, but it still has that little dewy radiance to it. If you have dry skin, I feel like this is the perfect formula for you because... It just looks good, but you can also wear it as an oily skin girl because it's supposed to dry down a little matte, but I still suggest that you go in with a matte um, spray, setting spray or something like that, just so you don't have any transfer and it does last a little bit longer. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer, y'all. I don't know if I want to do like a super duper bright under eye or not. So I'm going to keep it simple first and then decide whether or not I'm going to add like the super duper bright concealer. I like to use dry sponges over damp ones, but then sometimes the damp ones really do be hitting though. So it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But majority of the time, my sponges are always dry. Okay, so I feel like I need to add some more dimension to my face. So I am going to go on with an even brighter concealer. And... If I want to go even brighter, I will after this one. But I'm still trying to keep it more natural. This is supposed to be an everyday glowy type of look. So, yeah, not too much, Ariel. Not too much. So, as you can see, this one is a bit brighter, y'all. For the girlies who don't like that super duper bright under eye, you can still achieve a beautiful makeup application without doing so so much and you still gonna eat regardless like i'm just saying boom so i'm gonna put that on my nose as well i feel like i put a little too much on my nose so let me go ahead and blend this out i need to get my nails done so bad y'all like it's crazy because I never ever used to get my nails done and now it's become a part of my like beauty routine. Not that I need it, but like I love being feminine now. I feel like I'm very feminine and just, you know, yeah. Okay, y'all, so don't tussle with me. <laughs> Do not tussle with me, okay? Because I love y'all. You're supposed to love me back, okay? But I'm going to go in again and add a little smidget more of a brighter um, concealer under my eyes. I can't help it. I'm addicted. Like, I love... You're going to see. Just wait. You're going to see how, why I love it. Like, it's just going to set my eyes off because it's going to... I'm I'm gonna do it, okay? Like, don't get mad at me. You can stop right here if you want to, okay? But I'm gonna add a little, just a little touch, just a little pinch of it, okay? 
See, I told y'all it's just a little bit. Just a little bit. And boom. I love this sponge because it has that pointy edge to it and it just gets right up in there. Mm-hmm. And boom. That's all I'm gonna do for concealer, y'all. That wasn't bad at all. See? Mm-hmm. We still looking kind of natural with a little hint of a highlight lift, you know. I like my makeup like this, okay? Period. All right, so I'm gonna clean up my nose with the same foundation brush that we used earlier. Boom, and that's it. Even the edges, go ahead and blend it out. Not too much because you you still have to um, apply powder. Boom, that foundation smells so good. Now that we have more of a creamier texture on our face, it's time to lock it in with a powder, okay? I'm gonna take a pressed powder and tap it in. Tap, 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 pat, 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 swipe or no swiping. And I'm only doing one coat of this. Oh, look at that coverage, though. Mm-hmm. That looks so good. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm taking so many pictures today. I don't think y'all understand. Like, stop playing with me. Don't play with it. Because, yeah. I'm so excited. This looks amazing, I kid you not. Now y'all see why I love makeup? Like, for one, it enhances your beauty. You have fun doing it. And like, it never ceases to amaze you. Because it's like, it's like you unlocking new levels of beauty or something. I don't know. I love this. I love this for me. Thank you, God, because... I love makeup. I want to be makeup when I grow up. <laughs> and the fact that my face still feels lightweight. I'm not just saying that because of promo. I've been buying Juvia's Place since Juvia's Place started. Okay. And it's just a blessing. The fact that I can work with my favorite. One of my favorite makeup brands. Like. Thank you God. He is so amazing. Boom. Girl. Woo. This looks so. Y'all. I am not capping. This looks so freaking good. I don't know if it's just the skin. Skinning underneath this makeup or what. But like. My face looks so smooth. Of course I have little blemishes and stuff. But like. This looks really really good. Like. This is walk-in filter, literally. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some loose powder, y'all. And go ahead and kind of bake a little bit because I am going somewhere, actually. And I want my makeup to stay put, okay? Like, don't go nowhere. I need you to stay where I put you at. Yeah. So we're going to go in with some powder. I'm going to also put this on my nose. Boom. And although I don't have any concealer or anything right here on my cupid bowl area, I'm going to still put some powder right here just to kind of matte it out a bit. And around my mouth and chin area. Because I do like to smile, y'all. So, I want to make sure 
I don't create a lot of creasing. Creasing is going to happen regardless. But you want minimal creasing. So I'm also going to take a more yellow tint of a loose powder and put it right underneath that brighter powder. I know I look crazy, y'all. But this is this step right here is going to add some more. Hey, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and take that same brush that I used for the powder and go ahead and basically tap this away. I'm not going to like do this away I'm gonna tap it oh that's a lot oh okay I like these here. Hold on. I used them before, but like it's been a minute. Sometimes you have to rediscover makeup. But this right here looks really, really good too. I'm going to take the blush volume 5 from Juvia's Place as well as the bronzer. Y'all know my face is not complete unless I use these two products. Okay, listen. Usually I'll use um, volume 4, but I'm using volume 5 today for a more pinkish type of look. So I'm actually going with the blush first and then add the bronzer. And I'm going to use both sides today, y'all. And I'm literally flushing it into my under eye highlight. Just a little bit. Not too, too much. But I'm leaving a little small little upside down triangle. So I know it looks like a lot, okay? But trust the process. So now I'm taking that same brush. We're going to take the bronzer. I'm going to add some highlight on my nose. And I'm also going to take a mattifying spray and spray it as well. That's it. Not too much. And I'm going to take my fan and go ahead and fan this down until it's completely dry, y'all. So while my face is still drying up, I'm going to go ahead and clean up. If y'all saw the mess that I have in here, you will say, Ariel, that don't make no sense, okay? Let me clean up. Once I do that, I'm coming right back and we're going to do the rest of the face. We almost done, okay? Hey, so the face is completely dried, okay? Because period so i'm trying to debate if i want to actually do a wing or not y'all i really really don't know um i don't know should i do a wing should i not i know i'm gonna wear some lashes though so i don't know i really don't know y'all but i want to wear bold lashes i feel like i'm gonna do my lip first and then decide I don't know why my camera looks yellow, like super duper yellow. But anyways, I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place gloss in the shade Dolce Latte.
Okay, y'all, so I am going to add a slight wing to my eyes. So as you can see, I kept the wings a little simple today, okay? But I actually like these. These are very pretty. Like, and they look super duper even. I'm so proud of myself. Period. Now to add some mascara. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. This is style I Spy from Airy Winkle, and she a little raggedy, but I'm going to still apply her. Period. I feel like I want to add some highlights to my cheeks. Hold up. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. So this is the completed look. I am so in love right now. Like, I'm definitely feeling myself. I have somewhere to go, but I'm about to take me some pictures. I don't care if I'm late because... This looks so good on my melanin. Like, I have this glow going on, this elegance, this radiance going on. And we love that, okay? Like, mm. I'm about to take me some pictures, y'all. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have all product details in my description box listed down below. So, check it out. I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.